And here we go. The Dark Elf Project continues, this time working on the Witch Elves. So, Witch Elves, a lot to flesh to paint. Um, I didn't want to paint the Witch Elves with my regular uh, Panzer Ace flesh uh, trio of paint colors. I wanted something special for them. Uh, I didn't want to do white like GW has because it just doesn't fit into the army. There's no other white in the army. Um, I tried blue after the Lineage 2 game. Uh, that didn't work out too well. And after a couple other tests, I decided to paint them more uh, in dro inspired or Drow if you prefer. I do say dro. But anyway, Dro Dark Elves from Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm not going for the black ebony skin as described in the fluff. I'm actually going for the more purplish brown bruised skin that's always seen in the artwork. And um, that is the inspiration for this scheme. It's not an exact copy, artistic license and all that. But um, I thought it would fit well into my army. But anyway, let's get on to the actual painting here. You can see I'm doing a very heavy dry brush of the first shade layer. And this shade layer is made up of three colors. We have Vallejo Game Color Hex Lichen for the uh, purple in the scheme. We have Vallejo Model Color Chocolate Brown, and that's to give a little bit of shade, and it's also there to tone down the purple because the bur purple the Hex Lichen was rather intense in color and I needed to tone it down a bit um, so that's uh, that's in there and then I have some rose model color rose brown mixed in as well that is the same flesh color that I used on the sisters of battle and that's there to add a bit of more standard fleshy tone flesh color to the uh, to the witch elves I didn't want them you know plain purple I wanted a purplish brownish skin tone so uh that's where we are right now three colors for the first layer the next layer or the second shade layer is the previous mixture uh just with more rose brown added and that's uh heavily dry brushed over everything uh mostly everything excuse me leaving the previous color in the darkest recesses now <clears throat> I'm always telling people you should not be afraid to mix your paints. Uh, it's part of layering. It's something you have to learn. And even if you don't get the, the exact same mixture every time, when the entire army or the, or the entire unit is all together, you're not going to notice any subtle differences. This is an exception to the rule because I am using three colors and they are all performing a different task. Purple, the hex lichen is there for the purple tone. Chocolate brown is to control purple and the rose brown is to add a fleshy tone to it and trying to get all three of these colors to work in the right ratio was extremely difficult I did have to repaint several of these miniatures um, several times because I kept getting too much purple in it or I kept getting too much brown in it or I kept getting too much rose brown in it and um, yeah this one is a bit complicated uh, I really should have uh, simplified the scheme a bit now we're up to the third layer. This is what I would call the base coat uh, layer, the previous two being shade. And to make the base coat, I have now added some Vallejo Game Color Pale Flesh to the mix. So we've gone from a complicated three color mix to now an even more complicated four color mix. Um, yeah, I made this really complicated. So. Uh, the pale flesh is obviously to highlight the previous two colors, and uh, this is getting uh, put over a majority of the miniature because this is going to be the main fleshy color. Moving on to the highlights, and that's done by just adding more of the game color pale flesh into the mix. and. Um, as before with the Sisters of Slaughter, it's important on female miniatures not to over highlight or over shade. Uh, you want to tone down the contrast for female miniatures since they don't have, tend to, they don't tend to have ripped muscles and veins protruding and uh, 
they tend to look better with smoother skin so we don't want uh, a huge amount of contrast just because we don't want that muscle definition. The second highlight layer is uh, done by just adding more of our game color pale flush to the previous mix and highlighting as normal, starting to define some of the muscles and the rump and fingers and cheekbones and eyebrows and any areas that would catch a uh, sin significant amount of light. And for the final highlight, we add, say it with me, more game color pale flesh. And this is just going on uh, a few spots, little tips that need a little bit extra highlighting, elbows, knees, knuckles, things like that, cheekbones. And uh, in this video, I only use three highlights uh, by adding more pale flesh each time. And on some of the other miniatures, I had to use more or use less just because this scheme is so complicated. So I, I may have had to add an extra highlight or I may have added an extra step with the, uh, the previous mix of the rose brown hex lichen uh, chocolate brown by adding in more rose brown. So it does, I did have to vary it because the scheme is so complicated. Um, I really should have came up with a simpler scheme, but you know, when you're working on a dozen test minis and you finally hit that combination that you like, I mean, that's what I want to try to recreate, and this was the combination that worked best. So this is what I'm stuck with. But in the case of this miniature, at least we're done on the flesh right now. With the skin out of the way, the rest of the miniature seems like a breeze. Um, for the clothing areas, I went with my blue violet color, um, model color violet, model color blue violet, and then game color wolf's gray to highlight. And I considered, I even tried painting the clothes blue, thinking that maybe the purple skin would uh, match the blue violet that's the blue violet main color and the rest of my army. And um, not quite, and I kind of knew it wouldn't, but I wanted to give it a shot. But uh, uh, luckily, the purple and the violet are far enough away in tone that they don't blend into each other and they actually complement each other. So uh, that's what we have here. Now, what to do for the blue, though? For the weapons, I um, painted, as with the previous uh, articles in this video series, uh, Vallejo Air Steel with two washes of black and brown. However, after that, I added a extra wash of Vallejo Black Green Ink um, to give them a slight poison poisony look. So they have a slight green tint to them. Uh, it might be, I wanted something subtle, but this might be too subtle. Um, but uh, this is what I did and maybe in the future I'll, I'll go back and fix it after I finish painting what I need to paint. Here's where I managed to work in uh, my blue color into this scheme and that's on the hair. Um, decided to go for something a bit more bright and intense since there's so much hair on these models. And we are starting off with a very heavy dry brush of Vallejo Game Color Stormy Blue. And then to that for the highlights I added some of the Vallejo Game Color Magic Blue. And I do have to point out that I am highlighting hair incorrectly on this miniature. Hair you actually want to highlight Pretty much like you would anything else on a miniature. Um, figure out where that light is coming from and uh, make that a reflection point on the hair and that gives you some nice uh, shiny beautiful hair look to it. You don't want to highlight just on towards the ends like I'm doing here. Um, I did that in this case because the hair is just so comically huge. Um, I wanted to emphasize the, the size of it and uh, add a bit more detail to the tips. And then for one final highlight, I added a bit more magic blue to the previous mix. We are not using straight magic blue here. Uh, I didn't want to go that bright with it, but um, just a little bit more highlights here and there. And you can kind of see roughly what I was talking about before, um, finding a spot where the light would hit and highlight 
uh, in a sort of a band around that or a circle depending on the shape of the hair. So towards the head you can see I'm roughly doing that but, but uh, again not doing this properly but it's what I wanted for this particular hair style. As a cleanup measure I mixed up some Vallejo violet ink with some brown ink and I'm just using this to clean up any areas that uh, were a little bit sloppy or need some definition or that I just missed because I am speed painting this and so this is going around the fingers this is going in the eye sockets in the mouth uh, and around any clothing that just uh, needs a little bit more detail a little bit more punch The last thing to paint are the eyes, and I tried painting traditional eyes on these miniatures, and with the purple skin, it just looked weird. So I uh, ended up using Vallejo model color flat red, and um, that's just going over a tiny spot of white, so they look uh, more intense and brighter in color. But uh, with that, we are uh, done. And there we have it, the witch elves are done. So they came out pretty well. Uh, I like the purple scheme. It's not super purple and it's not super brown. It's not quite, doesn't look exactly like the draw elves, which uh, I got the inspiration from. Uh, however, that's good because this matches better into the army. Uh, using the rose brown, uh, even in small quantities, still, uh, since I used that same color on the Sisters of Battle, it still helps tie these miniatures in uh, with other miniatures in the rest of my Dark Elves army. If uh, I went with something very dark, it wouldn't fit, and if I went with the pale GW style of white skin, that wouldn't fit either. So um, this works out, and um, I just wish it wasn't so complicated because trying to duplicate this especially you know a couple years down the line is going to be extremely difficult and I'm sorry for anyone who's interested in following along because you're going to have a hard time of it uh, but those are the breaks uh, when I'm doing test miniatures I'm trying out dozens of different schemes and when I finally hit on one that works I want to you know recreate it to a T and sometimes those test minis I ended up using uh, a lot of complicated colors on and that was the case uh, in this uh, in this situation but uh, we're done, skin looks good. We got the blue violin in there that matches the rest of the army and I got enough blue into the hair which helps match it to the rest of the army. So let's call it quits on the witch elves and move on to something else. Thanks for watching.